Hi friends, my name is Jess and welcome or welcome back to Books Past Bedtime. Today we are going to be doing my March plan with me, but first, as always, we are going to be doing a flip through of the previous month. So I will start off by showing you my February pages. We have my cover page, my TBR and reading schedule, my wrap up and page tracker. As you can see, I was slacking off in February a little bit, but ultimately I read some pretty good books, so I'm not too mad about it. I also DNF'd my book club book, The Devil in the Dark Water, so that is why that page is blank. And I also have my habit tracker, my ideal day spread, and my February to-do list. And now we can move right on into March. So for March, I decided to go with this plant theme that I found on Pinterest. It just felt very fitting for spring and I really liked how it turned out. So as you can see, I sketched it out in pencil and I did go in and do a little March calendar just so I have that to reference throughout the month. And then I drew five different hanging plants of various styles. And here you can just see me outlining them in black. And then I will go in later and color them in in green. And overall, I really love how this turned out and I'm really vibing with it. The next spreads I'm going to be working on as always are my TBR and reading schedule pages. In March, I've decided to be a little bit more ambitious than I was last month because honestly, I think when I'm more ambitious, I end up reading more. So we're trying that this month. Basically, I divided my TBR up as always. First, I have my book club books and I'm participating in a ton of book clubs <laughs> this month. So I have them all listed out there and I will have all of the book clubs I'm participating in linked down below. I host my own book club, the Page Turner Book club and we are reading the project by courtney summers this month i also participate in sugar and spice book club the down memory jane read along 20 something book club and nonfiction baddies book club i'm also doing a scythe along there's a lot of things going on i probably have forgotten something but everything will be linked down below
And then my next category is books for videos. I did discuss my secret TBR that I have coming up in my March TBR video. So if you want more information on that, you can check that video out if you haven't already. And then I just have another category. These are just a couple books I want to get to throughout the month. Some of them are for readathons, others are just because. And then as always, I do have a two-letter acronym beside each title, which I will use in my reading schedule. And I do list the page count of each book out to the right. I add that up to my total, and that is the total you see at the bottom of the page. And that's how I break up my reading schedule. So I take that total number of pages and divide by 31, because there are 31 days in March, and I decide I have to read about 200 pages a day if I want to read all of these books. So I break it down like that, just so I can kind of have a achievable goal each and every day in regards to my reading. There is a bit of a method to my madness this month as I do have the Tinkerbell readathon in the middle of the month so I did account for that when I was planning out my books and all the books that I will be reading during that readathon are in the middle from the 6th to the 20th when that readathon is going to be taking place. If you haven't already watched the announcement video I will link that in the cards up above. It's going to be a super fun time but I did make sure I accounted for those books that I'm planning to read for that readathon but the rest are just kind of random to be honest with you. And that is pretty much an explanation of my schedule. You can just watch me put together the rest of it now. To do some nice music. All right, and then this next page, nothing much has changed. I am making my wrap-up tracker, just this three-column chart that I make with a spot for the dates that I read the book, for the title, as well as my rating. And I just think it's super simple. I did go in and do my alternating green lines to keep with the color theme, and it's just simple, and I like it, and I think it looks nice.
And then on the opposite page, I did my page tracker spread. It's just an X, Y axis graph as usual with the days of the month down the vertical axis and up to 400 pages along the horizontal axis. And then I did add a spot where I can write the total number of pages I read throughout the month down at the bottom. And then this spread is actually new and is 100% inspired by AK stolen from Noelle from Noelle 7 Pages and it is her readathon calendar. I have been obsessed with this spread since she started making plan with me videos and I don't know why it's taken me so long to copy it but I absolutely love it especially this month where I have two different readathons that I'm participating in as well as all of my book clubs. I just wanted an easy space to see where all of those important events were happening and so that is what is going on here. Basically I just made a March calendar, wrote the days of the week at the top, and numbered each box which corresponds to the days of the month. Obviously, you know what a calendar is. And then I created a little key at the bottom for what denotes what readathon. And I just really think it turned out really cute and I'm very excited about it. And I think it will be useful. I just like having a visual key. So it's a fun time. Thanks Noelle for letting me steal that, even though I didn't ask. <laughs> And then on the opposite page, I'm doing my spread for the Page Turner Book Club Book of the Month. This month we are reading the project by Courtney Summers. As I mentioned earlier, this is basically the same, nothing has changed. I just outlined a box, have a spot for the dates I read the book as well as my reading, and a big section for thoughts because that's basically why I have the spread so I can talk coherently during the live shows. And then on the opposite page, I have my two readathon spreads. I'm very excited about this first one. It is for the Tis the Dam readathon, which I'm sure most people know about. And sorry about this weird light shining through. I do fix it in a moment, I believe. But anyway, if you don't know, the Tis the Dam readathon is a Taylor Swift themed readathon. And there's kind of like a bingo board based on the house in the Lover music video. You can collect albums throughout the readathon by completing prompts. And so I'm just drawing out the bingo board here. Each room is themed for a different album that Taylor Swift has released. Least. So I just had a little bit of fun with using different colors to represent different albums in different eras. And I really actually liked how the spread turned out. I think it's pretty cute, but still pretty simple and usable. So yeah.
And then on the opposite page is my spread for the Pixie Hollow Readathon. This one is not quite as inspired, but I think it's still pretty cute. Um, I basically just listed out the prompts as well as the book that I was planning to read for each of those prompts. And I just alternated colors and sides of the page. And then later on, I'm going to draw arrows between them to reflect the map style of the readathon. And I am crazy and I'm going to try to read them in order on the map and not move on to the next spot until I've completed the one before. So that's what's happening there. <laughs> And then on the next set of pages on the left side, I am making my habit tracker. This is the same as it's been the last couple of months. Basically, I just create another X, Y axis graph along the horizontal axis are the days of the month. And along the vertical axis, I list out all of the habits that I like to try and accomplish each and every day. It doesn't always happen, but I think it's a nice way to kind of help myself lead a balanced life. And I really like having it and referencing it and seeing what I achieve and when. And I don't know, I just really like having a habit tracker and it works well for me. And then on the opposite page, I just made a spot to have a monthly to-do list. I really like having a monthly to-do list. And those are all of the pages I have for you today. And so we can just go ahead and get into our flip through. So here we are back at the title page. And then we have our TBR and reading schedule spreads. Our wrap up and page tracker spreads our readathon calendar and my book club reference page, my readathon spreads for the Tis the Damn readathon as well as the Pixie Hollow readathon, and finally my habit tracker and monthly to-do list. So that is all I have today for my March plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate you being here. Definitely don't forget to check out the description for any relevant links, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.